Big Chief released a video addressing all the issues and his reason for not being in the Street Outlaws. Back on March 24, 2022, on his YouTube channel, Midwest Street Cars, we thought everything he said was all there was to it, and it sounded quite reasonable as well. But then just two days later, on March 26, Reaper, another fellow co-star of the Street Outlaws, also released a video on his own YouTube channel, Street Outlaws Repress S, talking about the Big Chief and his problems. This gave a new perspective and shed new light on the issues from the viewpoint of those who worked in the same line as Big Chief. So, what's the truth? Let's see what they both are saying first. Basically, Big Chief addresses why he lost some races on the qualifier race for America's List and goes on to say what really happened. In the driver's meeting, he said he went there to discuss the rules that many people thought were redundant, like the chase of the race, cross the center line rule, and others, then work out something that would be best for everyone, including fans. But he was shut down as soon as he got to the meeting. He also addresses the rumor that he wasn't ready to race his way in. He says that he loves real street racing, he was born from it, and would love to race his way in if that's how it was going to be. But that didn't happen, and he had a lot of issues in the show. He admits that he did make some trouble, but didn't make any excuses about it. He realized that money and fame weren't worth changing his beliefs. He wanted to defend what he believed in, and when it didn't work, that's when he made the decision to leave America's list. That's what Big Chief said in his video. But to refute this, Reaper made whole another 40-minute long video, saying things from his perspective. Reaper mostly disagreed that the production company picked on Big Chief. He said that the Chief would usually show up late, making other people wait for him, sometimes for several hours, or sometimes even for a day, as they couldn't film in daylight, it would get postponed for another day. He alleged that Chief was also a master manipulator and would change things on his whim. If Big Chief didn't like things someone was saying, they would face repercussions from him. One time, when everyone agreed and showed up in small tires for the race, Big Chief was the only one who arrived in big tires and instead made everyone else again change to big tires. This pissed off everyone. Reaper went on to say that Big Chief was the one who came up with the rules he addressed in his video, like the chase of the race rule. Since he was the race master, he made these rules, and when he disagreed with some other rules, he wouldn't participate in the race. These kinds of things were the main points that Reaper made against Big Chief. So who's really telling the truth? There are many people who believe the Reaper's video, and also commented that Big Chief was really rude to them in person, and wasn't the person they thought he was. On the other hand, there are also many Big Chief fans who say that Reaper is just bitter and spewing things out to get more views. However, the question remains, is Big Chief really that kind of guy, or is Reaper making things up? Well, as the saying goes, there are three sides to every story. Your side, my side, and the truth. So, in this matter as well, the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Some things that Big Chief said are likely true, and some things that Reaper made in his video are also probably true. It all comes down to this question. Was Big Chief fired, or did he quit of his volition? And that's it for the video. What are your thoughts on this matter? Do you think Reaper is just salty, or there is a hidden side to Big Chief's story? Do comment on what your thoughts are. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video and stay tuned for more.